Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Stally111, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is it, the beta access is finally here. Uh, we've waited quite a long time in alpha access, having little bits here and there added on. Finally, the beta, which is going to have a lot more story elements into it, um, the basics of pretty much every mechanic in the actual game, uh, which will be developed on further for the final game late this summer. So, I'm going to jump into the game, but be warned, my PC isn't the greatest and it is um, a massive, I think it's three or four times the size of the alpha map that we're going to be playing in today. And uh, it's it's a little bit more difficult to run than the alpha, which my PC was getting about 15 average and 15 frames per second. However, do not worry, I will be getting a new PC in the coming month, and I'll be showing off little bits here and there with the new, like with ultra settings. I won't be doing a load and load, a load, a load, a load, a load, a load of videos, but I will be wanting to to cover at least. Um, Showing how beautiful the game is on one of the best PCs that I can afford. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to jump into the game and this is the new main menu sequence. And I, before you guys go into it, if you've not already played it already, be prepared not to skip the intro sequence if you don't already know about the lore. You can also check out my videos on Kingdom Come Lore. But it is a pretty interesting little e intro sequence and I really like the art style. Uh, I've said that to Wars. Continuously, I love their art style for their concept art and um, anyway, I'm going to jump in. I know I've rambled for for nearly two minutes now or something like that, but I'm just super excited for this game and I hope that I don't have any crashes during this sequence. Anyway, here we go. I'm probably going to cut out the loading times because I don't know if they're going to be quite... Oh, oh, my past. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. Our beta begins midway through the actual game. Ah, so he's all right. Um, I, I know it wasn't starting off at the same, at the very, very start. Right, so, uh, Silver Tongue. Ooh, I, I, I do like having, like, in Fallout and stuff, I do like to have a lot of charisma. Um, and Skyrim, I like to, well, Elder Scrolls games. I, I tend to go with quite a, a, a Silver Tongued character, but I do like to have a good fight. I think I'll go for Jack of all trades just for this example, for this this showing. After Previously, oh, chaos and turmoil ruled the land, and our province was no exception. We were overrun by bandits and marauders, and the roads were no longer safe. The most this reminds me of uh, the way the Witcher Three handles carrying the story along. All the horses slaughtered. My liege lord sent his men, led by Sir Robert of Tolmberg, to track down the killers and to bring them to justice. I rode with them, but the investigation has been slow and difficult. Whenever I came across some trace of the bandits, someone erased it in the cruelest way imaginable. In the end, though, I got one step ahead of the enemy. I found out one of the bandits was still alive and hiding near Tomberg. But before I set out to track him down, I had to report to Sir Robert. Alright. So that's the sort of style that I was talking about in the introduction sequence. And I was very impressed. I really, really, really enjoyed uh, like just listening. Like, I do like uh, Henry's new voice actor. It's a proper voice actor rather than just a developer, and you can see what sort of frames you're going to be getting. That's actually lower than usual, but um, hopefully it picks up after the game's settled into the actual game. This is all in-game, uh, in the game engine. It's not completely pre-rendered or anything like that. And I am on medium settings. So I know it's not coming up there. Uh, it's not loading in the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. But... I'll have a completely, like, 50 times better PC uh, next month. Oh god, really sorry for this, but I just want to experience it and this video is just for you guys to see what my thoughts are on the introduction of uh, this beta, but I will be playing a load of it once I get my new PC uh, on Ultra and I'll be loving it to bits.
I mean, to be honest, some medium settings, it's still quite quite good once it's actually loaded in. Um, but I've al always said this this game is a very. I've already said I've said this many a time. The Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the best looking games I've seen in a long time. Um, but yeah, cr cr the Crytek engine really really helps it. Yeah, I'm getting the zero frames now. Sir. Ah, Henry. Carry on. Well, lad, have you made any progress with the investigation? Yes, sir. I think I have at last. So you found someone who isn't gutted and nailed to a wall? It wasn't easy, sir, but I believe I have. I have information about one of the bandits who did it. He's even hiding in a village nearby. Right, so it's a bit out of sync because of the frame rate. I'm sorry about that. God's blood. <coughs> it's true the darkest shade is beneath the candlestick. Who is he? I only know that they call him Riki and he's from here in Talmberg. That's it. You wouldn't believe how much effort it took me to find that out. But I think it's enough to go on. What if he's dead too? I think we'd already know if he was. These fellows are not given to subtlety. Mm, true enough. We haven't found any more mutilated corpses. Well, get on with it then. And when you find him, come and see me. Most likely I'll be in the encampment by Merhoyed. Alright, so... You can rely on me, sir. Farewell. Right. Oh. And be careful, Henry. I know what that rabble did to you, but remember with whom you're dealing. Don't start any foolhardiness on your own. Understood? <laughs> I'll try not to, sir. Right. I can't wait to play. I can't wait to start a new game with my new PC. This, oh, I'm so hyped for this. Such a beautiful game. Oh, I've seen like people being posting screenshots on Twitter. Oh, we're in the game now. I'll let it have a, a wee second to settle down before I do much. Yeah, we're we're having some frame problems. Uh, but maybe I should have gone for low settings, which I've done in the past, which I've been able to cope with 15 frames per second. But we're at 15 frames, I guess that's that's enough. Um, all I'm going to be doing is just seeing how it runs on a, a, a... Well, to be honest, my PC isn't crap. It is... It's, it was pretty powerful, like, five years ago. Like, it was really good back then, but times have certainly changed new generation of consoles it's it's probably equal maybe a little bit around the same as a PlayStation 4 but obviously this is uh, not <laughs> this is just a beta as well so it's still not fully optimized it's uh, I, I even uh, spoke to uh, Tobias about this and he he said that it's it's probably gonna be harder for your PC um, I, I said, uh, is it not going to be more optimized? It's further on the line, but because of it added in so much of the stuff, which I'll try and look at the map if it loads. There we go. Oh, screw you guys with your fog of war, right? So this is going to be the the area we've already played in, and that's Meadowheads. Oh, is it? Is it though? Because oh, I don't know. I've seen the map. Someone's already showed me showed showed the map on Twitter, uh, with the complete map. But it is a large sum of the map. And just look at that. That that's on lower settings as well. I'm actually surprised my PC is having the render distance to see that mill, that um, one mill up there. And is that a church? Jeez, oh. Right, so, 
I don't know what I'm wanting to do in this video um, because I do want to explore it in greater depth on my own just in case there is any problems um, as in story wise and also when I get my new PC so I'll definitely do some another video showing off the, the ultra settings and just showing how, how beautiful the game actually is. Right, you know what? I want to see how I can change the performance. Right, so I've lowered the settings slightly, and I've also realised that I haven't been able, to, I won't be able to sync up the the audio and the video very well. But that it didn't matter because I've not done like much as in actions wise. Um. And hopefully you, you don't criticise me for that because I, I, I fucked up. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, it d doesn't seem like, like I'm, I'm, I hope you guys are appreciating this, that I'm able to touch wood, have a steady frame rate that's it's not dropping to zero every two seconds, which was what I was getting before. And I'm just having a wee wonder here. Maybe I should be heading heading towards the marker, because we're heading away, but this is all new land that I've never seen before. And you guys, if you unless you've played the beta before either, it's, it's completely new and completely beautiful, <laughs> if you say, if you ask me personally, but... I am I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more of this game. I don't know if I'll play a, play too much um, on this PC because it is struggling even on the lower settings. But I don't know if I want to play too much of the beta. To be honest, I I, I want I probably want to just skim over the top of it because I want to experience just half of what I've experienced in the alpha and the beta for enjoyment with the full game. Which is the reason I'm experienced. Uh, I'm having such an uh, like a, a fun time. I'm, I'm enjoying it so much is because I'm experiencing it for the first time, and it's it's completely new to me. This game is is very different. Like there is a lot of RPGs. There's a lot of first-person games out there, but this is done better than a lot of them, and. Uh, I know it's I've not like I've only played like 30 hours of this game and it's nothing compared to my Skyrim or Oblivion or oh, Woodcutter's Camp uh, hundreds of hours in that and, and Skyrim and Oblivion but Skyrim and Oblivion are really really freaking fun but I think this is gonna be really fun in its own way it's it's not relying on fantasy aspects it's completely like trying to be as realistic as possible it's based on a real factual event that happened and it's trying to stick to that as closely as it can and yes it's going to be difficult to role play that it's trying it's going to be difficult to have henry henry was not to my knowledge at least a real person but you're going to be somebody who has a could potentially have a major impact on what actually happens during the events of this battle between Wenselaw and uh, Sigismund. I mean, for all I know, you could have the the potential to just say, fuck you Wenselaw, I'm going to go with Sigismund, you're a wee dick. <laughs> you should have went to your coronation, you shouldn't have been so late, you should have just, you know, done it all, you shouldn't have been so lazy, you should have actually took on your responsibilities and stop just like having sex and eating food and just lazily doing everything and letting Sigismund come in here. Maybe you think Sigismund's a, he, he's a smart guy taking advantage of his his brother. I mean yes that's obviously bad but has he got arrows in his shit shit, shit. run 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 Crap, it's a sprint button. I, I usually play on controller. Oh, there we go. Obviously, I'm not in... I'm, I'm in bad territory. <laughs> I 
like, like all the way around. You can't do a 360 like before, so that's that's kind of good, I guess. Like it was useful, but it was unrealistic as hell. To be honest, I don't think I'll do any quests today. I think I'll just explore. I mean, yes, I've not. <laughs> I'm not showing off any proper game mechanics other than the horse riding, the the new cinematics and opening sequence and obviously my crappy PC <laughs> hardly being able to handle it but hopefully you guys can appreciate how good this game is beautifully at least so big hair oh, we we'll keep on following it but that's, that's good to see wildlife I don't recall seeing any life before maybe I'm just blind and or I'm forgetful, but I don't recall seeing many or much wildlife before in uh, the alpha. And I probably I probably should look at the, the, the beta patch notes because I've not actually looked at that. All I've done is through, I've, I've researched speculation and I've verified what is really happening out of all the speculation with uh, Toby. And I've taken all my knowledge from there and I've, I hope you guys realize that the stuff that I post is not just rumors unless it's the video like potential mods. I did a, mod, a video about potential mods that um, some mods that I think would be pretty cool. If you guys agree, disagree, whatever, that's, that's your own opinion. Um, but I thought those mods could be pretty cool for Kingdom Come Deliverance. But, oh, please tell me you're friendly. You look friendly. Music isn't changing. No, it isn't. It's changing. We're obviously in bad territory, I've said before, but screw it, I'm continuing on. I don't think I've, have I, have I got a sword? I don't know the buttons. Uh, right, we'll get out of this zone. Because I usually play on controller, but my controller is out of battery and I don't have any batteries. Help. Um, inventory, inventory, inventory. Aye. Right, so. Do we have a bastard sword? Yes, we do. No, 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 no. Crap, 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 crap. You've got to be. You've got to keep keep your ears and you've got to keep your senses and your wits about you when this when playing this game, because one, maybe even two stabs, and you're out of it. You're dead, completely dead. They've tried to make. Well, oh, right. So we've we've, we've met the borders. And I hope they don't um, use that joke continuously when uh, the final game comes around. I hope they have a... Oh, crap. You know what? You know what? I'm going to show you how bad I am at this game. First of all, should probably get the right button. Um... Um, right. One. Okay. Actually, do we have any other cool stuff? Oh. Torch. Nah. We've got a bandage. Right. So bandages weren't in the, the alpha, I don't think. So that means we can bandage up some, like, a, a wound or something that could uh, lower bleeding until we get to a doctor or... Whatever. We've got 40 Groshen and 4 lockpicks. I've got to say, the the beta the beta trailer was phenomenal. I absolutely love that. <clears throat> yeah, you are a bad guy. And he's got a shield. I've got a hit on him. Two hits on him. I got some blood there. Come on. He's dead. Axe. Thank you. Shield. I'll just take... Take his... Oh, take... Uh, yeah, I'll take two. I'll take the at. <laughs> no, I don't... I don't want to ruin my game. It might fuck it up. 
yeah, so. Now, let's go into our, our own inventory. So I did succeed. I, I thought I'd fail. Um, ooh, it's got slightly higher damage. But it'll be slower. Let's get some some armor on. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Let's have a look at some more skills. Some skills, skills: alchemy, defense, fencing, horse riding, and lock picking. Combat: bow, shield, sword. Fair it is. So we're level 12 at the moment, don't know how far, I think that'd be maybe 3 hours into the game. Oh, how long did they say the game was again? Uh, I can't remember, I think it was 30 hours, he said, which was very modest, I think, because I've already got 30 hours just exploring the alpha. Anyway, so we, we survived that, which is always good. Um, horsey. I'm lazy, <laughs> just like my real life counterpart, and I should probably put my sword away, my bloodied sword, and we'll go back on our horse because we're lazy. I mean, we've got a horse, why not? I'm assuming at the start of the game you don't start off with a horse, but I'm glad I, I didn't completely fail there uh, because I thought I would in front of you guys. and. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the greatest. I did the, I think it was point four up. Yeah, point four when the the combat system was introduced, in the the first one, but system was introduced. Hello, here, um, in the, the arena. I was pretty bad at the the even the tutorial section. That's not. Is that a path? I don't think I want to go down that way. Actually, let's have a little look on the map exactly where we are. So we're all the way up there. So we've travelled a fair distance, we've not been sprinting or anything like that, we've not been exerting ourselves apart from that fight. And that is the log, the, the woodcutters area. So I think we should try and head this sort of distance. I'm, I'm not going to make this too much longer because I do want to explore it myself and not have to talk to you guys. I, I, I know that's, that sounds bad but just so I can ex enjoy it, enjoy the sounds without my, my stupid voice over the top of it. Um, so yeah, southwest is probably the route I want to take. I want to advance the quest line a little bit. I don't want to do it too much, um, personally. But I, I think I'll just continue exploring today, and it won't be too much longer. But overall, I, I like to say I was I was going on something when I was talking about Skyrim and Oblivion there, but then I got distracted by something else. But. Skyrim, not Kingdom Come Deliverance. Skyrim, done well. Because so far, I think I've experienced one bug and a number of crashes, but I think that's more to do with my PC. But yes, it is an alpha stage, but come on. Is that, is that guys up ahead? I think there was two guys before, and I don't really want to challenge two guys and look like a fool. I mean, the guy did say, don't challenge two guys, blah 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 blah, uh, more than, no, he didn't say two guys, he said, don't challenge people without, like, on your own, know where your strengths are, blah, I can't remember what he said, I'm just too excited to play the game, but, yeah, people have, people have complained about the frame rate, so, yeah, listen to my enjoyment, and imagine how much, how much fun I would be having if I was getting 60 FPS on Ultra. Which I'm super excited for getting my new PC for, um, which was the main reason. But now I, I'm doing uh, proper editing for like as as, as as a job, so that's pretty cool. And I mean, may as well invest in myself so I can make the process go along faster. But this is not a video about me. This is a video about Kingdom Come Deliverance, the beauty that it is. Alright, I hear a woodcutter, and we're losing some frames now. Just stand for a wee bit. There we go. Don't know if that's going to help at all. We're going to go along this way. Are you good? You're not a human. <laughs> You're a tree stump. It's not even a stump. It's a tree. 
Just because the, the bottom part of that tree was black and the rest of it was white. Looked like clothes. I, got, I saw a human on the ground. On the ground. Crouching down. Come on, horsey. You can get through that. Looks like we're going to have to go around. But yeah, that's been about 20, 25 minutes, just a little bit less in this game. And I think by this time, a lot of you guys probably have left, either made up your mind that you want the game, or you don't, or there's a few dedicated ones of you, uh, ones of you, uh, uh, viewers, and I'd like to thank you guys. And also, before you go, for the people who have stayed, you guys are first to know that I will be doing a Kingdom Come... Well, no, actually, I've said I mentioned it before on Twitter, but... Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'm going to be giving away a few keys. Um, along with a few other keys for another video that I'm going to be doing, a long-awaited tea break video. But I will be giving away Kingdom Come Deliverance beta access and full game access when the full game comes along. Um, in our upcoming video, I am planning on doing another one uh, other Kingdom Come lore video. If I can track down something to do, I think I've got a rough idea on what I want to do, a specific um, figure. But anyway, there's that. And also, I want to do another Game Come video when I get my new PC so I can show it off in Ultra settings, blah blah blah. Um, hopefully I can do all that. And I didn't get knocked down for that. Okay. I thought I wouldn't be able to duck under that. Just clopped my head right through that, that tree. Anyway, so that's plan. Um, stay stay tuned on the uh, on the channel uh, for upcoming videos based around Kingdom Come Deliverance or just the channel in general. And if you don't have the beta access and you don't have enough money for the beta access, but you really do want to play the beta or the final game or both or whatever, and you're really interested in RPGs or medieval games or just Kingdom Come in general or my videos, stay tuned because I will be giving away a few keys. But anyway, I'm probably, I probably should just say thank you for watching now. Uh, I'll be doing much more. I didn't really do much in the video. I just explored and showed you guys some new areas of landscape. Uh, it was more, mostly just a forest. We encountered a couple of people. We killed one, uh, avoided the other. And I, I would say I had a lot of fun. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much Warhorse for making the game, developing the game so much, so well and support my content thank you very much for watching you guys make sure to drop a like drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already and i'll see you guys on another video peace off